Next up, I have my friends, Denyak Pala, coming to us from the beautiful, probably the most beautiful city in the world, the city of Prague. Zdenyak, you've been in this industry a long time. You, you've, you too have lived through massive changes in the world of networking and networking security. And, and specifically, how we at Extreme approach that. Today, I want to talk to you about NAC. What is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a long time since it was about username and password to applications. For NAC, um, as many acronyms in networking, if you take it from the end to the beginning, you will understand what it does. So network access control is controlling the access to the network. Ah, that's, that's brilliant. I need to add that uh, to my list of tricks to remember things. What led to the need for the creation of NAC as a security strategy? What problem really does NAC address? At the early days, the enemy, I mean the attacker, was outside. The customer installed a firewall and that was the security, right? But 80% of security breaches are initiated from inside of the network. So protecting the access to the network where the devices are connected, it is a next logical step. So what exactly should a NAC solution actually offer uh, a customer? Standard NAC solution should provide five functions. Number one is detection. You need to detect that something has connected to the network. Number two is authentication. You need to gather the credentials and validate them. It can be username and password, but it can be certificate. Number three is authorization. You need to check and check what access the entity which connected to the network should have. Is it the student with student access to the student resources, or is it the faculty staff with access to the internal faculty resources, for example? So here you're talking about um, something like Active Directory, right? Uh, and seeing what resources the user is allowed to access, correct? Yeah, Active Directory is one of examples, right? But it can be identity management from any vendor, from any other. Understood. What else? Number four is assessment. You need to check the security posture of the device. Is it healthy? Is it compliant with company security policy? What do you mean when you say... Uh, is it healthy? What, what do you mean by that? What healthy means, um, the device can be unpatched, not updated, not protected by antivirus, anti-malware, anti-ransomware. It can be running un unapproved, not approved applications. Understood. So, so is, the is the remediation process something that's automated? Yep, remediation. Um, if the device is not compliant, with the requirements the company has, right? Then there should be a way which we can provide to get the device to be again compliant, to get it to the compliant status, right? So we need to provide the journey for the user. Some automation can be achieved, but sometimes the user interaction is needed. Credentials and certificates. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Yeah, in addition to the very basic Mac authentication, potentially 802.1x authentication, which is a standard, there can be also a captive web portal or the web portal in general. There are two trends in authentication. Number one is multi-factor authentication, where the identity is validated with multiple ways. For example, it's username and password with an SMS and application, for example. The other option or the other trend is authenticate both device and user in one session. We need to be able to distinguish between the user on a company authorized device from the user on a generic device. Understood. MFA is uh, really becoming uh, common um, across many web applications, right? And that means multi factor authentication. So, what's special about extreme control? Um, NAC is NAC, right? NAC is NAC is NAC. Should a, should a potential customer care? Extreme control gives you another very important aspect. Really great visibility because our solution, our NAC solution, is integrated with our network management tools. If needed, a support person can start a troubleshooting journey directly from the management tools, from the GUI, to see exactly where the user is connected to, to see exactly what is the setting on the switch, on the access point, on the Wi-Fi. 
This cuts down so much time when the troubleshooting issues and ultimately it saves customer a ton of money. Brilliant. So, so if I understand correctly, what you're saying is our NAC approach to security is based on an evolution of the security threat landscape and actually starts way before a user brings a computer or computing device near a network. Oh yeah, that's correct. Security is not a checkbox. It is not a button you can press. It is not a product you can buy. When it comes to the security, the end-to-end -end approach should be taken. There are a lot of features built into the switches to the access points that contributes to the security and can help the deployment of the next solution, but also can address other security risks. But that's probably a topic for another day. Brilliant. So easy to understand.